Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to turn back to Pihahiroth. Tell them to camp for the night between Migdal and the Red Sea. This is near Baal Zephon. The king will think, the Israelites are lost, trapped by the desert. I will make the king stubborn again so he will chase after them. But I will defeat the king and his army. This will bring honor to me. Then the people of Egypt will know that I am the Lord. The people of Israel did just as they were told. The king chases the Israelites. The king of Egypt was told that the people of Israel had already left. Then he and his officers changed their minds about them. They said, What have we done? We have let the people of Israel leave. We have lost our slaves. So the king prepared his war chariot and took his army with him. He took six hundred of his best chariots. He also took all the other chariots of Egypt. Each chariot had an officer in it. The Lord made the king of Egypt stubborn. So he chased the Israelites, who were leaving victoriously. The king of Egypt came with his horses, chariot drivers, and army. And they chased the Israelites. They caught up with the Israelites while they were camped by the Red Sea. This was near Pihahiroth and Baal Zephon. The Israelites saw the king and his army coming after them. They were very frightened and cried to the Lord for help. They said to Moses, What have you done to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in the desert? There were plenty of graves for us in Egypt. We told you in Egypt, let us alone. Let us stay and serve the Egyptians. Now we will die in the desert. But Moses answered, Don't be afraid. Stand still and see the Lord save you today. You will never see these Egyptians again after today. You will only need to remain calm. The Lord will fight for you. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Command the people of Israel to start moving. Raise your walking stick and hold it over the sea. The sea will split. Then the people can cross the sea on dry land. I have made the Egyptians stubborn so they will chase the Israelites. But I will be honored when I defeat the king and all of his chariot drivers and chariots. I will defeat the king, his chariot drivers and chariots. Then Egypt will know that I am the Lord. The angel of God usually traveled in front of Israel's army. Now the angel of God moved behind them. Also, the pillar of cloud moved from in front of the people and stood behind them. So the cloud came between the Egyptians and the people of Israel. The cloud made it dark for the Egyptians. But it gave light to the Israelites. So the cloud kept the two armies apart all night. Moses held his hand over the sea. All that night the Lord drove back the sea with a strong east wind. And so he made the sea become dry ground. The water was split. And the Israelites went through the sea on dry land. A wall of water was on both sides. Then all the king's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers followed them into the sea. Between two and six o'clock in the morning, the Lord looked down from the pillar of cloud and fire at the Egyptian army. He made them panic. He kept the wheels of the chariots from turning. This made it hard to drive the chariots. The Egyptians shouted, Let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them and against us Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Hold your hand over the sea. Then the water will come back over the Egyptians, their chariots, and chariot drivers. So Moses raised his hand over the sea. And at dawn the water became deep again. The Egyptians were trying to run from it. But the Lord swept them away into the sea. The water became deep again. It covered the chariots and chariot drivers. So all the king's army that had followed the Israelites into the sea was covered. Not one of them survived. But the people of Israel crossed the sea on dry land. There was a wall of water on their right and on their left. So that day the Lord saved the Israelites from the Egyptians. And the Israelites saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore. When the people of Israel saw the great power that the Lord had used against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord. And they trusted the Lord and his servant Moses. The Song of Moses Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord, I will sing to the Lord because he is worthy of great honor. He has thrown the horse and its rider into the sea. The Lord gives me strength and makes me sing. He has saved me. He is my God, and I will praise him. He is the God of my ancestors, and I will honor him. The Lord is a great warrior. The Lord is his name. The chariots and soldiers of the king of Egypt he has thrown into the sea. The king's best officers are drowned in the Red Sea. The deep waters covered them. They sank to the bottom like a rock. Your right hand, Lord, 
is amazingly strong. Lord, your right hand broke the enemy into pieces. In your great victory you destroyed those who were against you. Your anger destroyed them, like fire burning straw. Just a blast of your breath, and the waters were blown back. The moving water stood up like a wall. And the deep waters became solid in the middle of the sea. The enemy bragged, I'll chase them and catch them. I'll take all their riches. I'll take all I want. I'll pull out my sword, and my hand will destroy them. But you blew on them with your breath and covered them with the sea. They sank like lead in the powerful water. Are there any gods like you, Lord? No. There are no gods like you. You are wonderfully holy. You are amazingly powerful. You do great miracles. You reached out with your right hand, and the earth swallowed our enemies. You keep your loving promise. You lead the people you have saved. With your strength you will guide them to your holy land. The other nations will hear this and tremble with fear. Terror will take hold of the Philistines. The leaders of the tribes of Edom will be very frightened. The powerful men of Moab will shake with fear. The people of Canaan will lose all their courage. Those people will be filled with fear. When they see your strength, they will be as still as a rock. They will be still until your people pass by, Lord. They will be still until the people you have bought from slavery pass by. You will lead your people and place them on your very own mountain. Lord, that is the place that you made for yourself to live. Lord, that is the temple that your hands have made. The Lord will rule forever. The horses, chariot drivers, and chariots of the king of Egypt went into the sea. And the Lord covered them with water from the sea. But the Israelites walked through the sea on dry land. Then Aaron's sister Miriam, who was a prophetess, took a tambourine in her hand. All the women followed her, playing tambourines and dancing. Miriam told them, Sing to the Lord because he is worthy of great honor. He has thrown the horse and its rider into the sea. The bitter water. Moses led the people of Israel away from the Red Sea. The people went into the desert of Shur. They traveled for three days in the desert but found no water. Then they came to Marah, where there was water. But they could not drink it because it was too bitter. That is why the place was named Marah. The people grumbled to Moses. They asked, What will we drink? Moses cried out to the Lord. So the Lord showed him a tree. Moses threw the tree into the water. And the water became good to drink. There the Lord gave the people a rule and a law to live by. There he also tested their loyalty to him. He said, You must obey the Lord, your God. You must do what the Lord said is right. You must obey all his laws and keep his rules. If you do these things, I will not give you any of the sicknesses I gave the Egyptians. I am the Lord. I am the Lord who heals you. Then the people traveled to Elim. At Elim there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees. So the people camped there near the water.